The Apple Magic Trackpad and the Logitech MX Master 3S are two very different mouses. They give you a completely different user experience on Mac OS. The Magic Trackpad is a gigantic trackpad that offers a ton of great built-in gestures, super simple scrolling, and honestly, it's a lot more precise than you would think. The Logitech MX Master 3S offers a variety of programmable buttons and really great ergonomic support from the mouse. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the differences between these two mouses and which one you should choose to buy in different scenarios. Both the Magic Trackpad and the MX Master 3S use Bluetooth to allow them to be used wirelessly with computers, iPads, and other devices. They both offer very reliable Bluetooth connectivity and very long-lasting batteries. The Magic Trackpad uses lightning to be recharged and to be paired to a device, and the MX Master 3S uses USB-C to be recharged. The MX Master 3S also has a dedicated device pairing button on the bottom, so you can pair it to multiple devices and change if you have it paired to any computer or an iPad or other devices just by flipping it over and cycling between the presets on that button. So it's really easy to pair devices using the MX Master 3S, but with the Magic Trackpad, it takes a little bit more work. Both of these are a little bit bigger than your standard mouses that you might use with a Mac computer. The Magic Trackpad is very wide, but it's very thin. The MX Master 3S is taller and thicker than most mouses like the Apple Magic Mouse, but it offers a really great ergonomic experience and your hand just fits on it perfectly. With the Magic Trackpad, I find that it's just not quite as ergonomic to use and your wrist can sometimes be at an uncomfortable angle, so it's not as good to use for longer computer work session. Both the MX Master 3S and the Magic Trackpad have a premium feel, but I gotta say, the Magic Trackpad just has that sleek Apple look and feel to it, and it just is a great seamless experience if you love using the trackpad that's built in to your MacBook computer. It's also a great way if you wanna make your desktop setup feel a little bit more like using your computer in laptop mode. It feels really natural and fun to use if you're used to the Mac OS experience of using gestures to change between apps, mission control, just scrolling around just by using two fingers at one time, and right click on it with two fingers works great as well. But the MX Master 3S gives you a lot more customization with the buttons that are on the side and the top, and you get both the horizontal and vertical scroll wheel, so it gives you a little bit better separation between those two. I also just really like the way that the MX Master 3S feels while you're using it. It's very comfortable to use, and I can use it for a lot longer without having wrist pain. The MX Master 3S also still gives you gestures that can be accessed through a button on the side, if you click that button and then you use a gesture like moving the mouse to the left or right, you can switch between apps and desktops. You can activate mission control by pressing the button and swiping up and down. You can reveal the desktop. So there's a lot of great built-in functionality with the MX Master 3S. I also really love that the MX Master 3S gives you two customizable buttons on the side of the mouse, a scroll wheel that can be clicked on the top and a button below the scroll wheel too. And you can make this mouse do specific app-based shortcuts like in Photoshop, you can make certain buttons do undo, redo, zoom in, zoom out, and you might not want to use those shortcuts on other apps or if you're on Safari. You can make buttons go forward and backwards on your pages on web browsers. So there's a ton of customization that you can do with the MX Master 3S that you can't do with the Magic Trackpad. So the MX Master 3S and the Magic Trackpad give you very different experiences when you're using them because with the Magic Trackpad, you're mostly moving your fingers around and with the MX Master 3S, you're mostly moving your wrist around. Honestly, these mouses can complement each other really well because you can use the Magic Trackpad for general productivity work, for all the easy zooming and scrolling that that offers. And then you can use the MX Master when you're doing tasks that require a little bit more precision, as well as the customizable buttons. So using them side by side can be a really great setup for you too. I would pick the Magic Trackpad if you want the most laptop-like experience using your computer in desktop mode. It's just gonna feel really comfortable and natural to you if you love your Apple laptop. I would choose to buy the MX Master 3S if you want that device pairing functionality that allows you to use it with multiple devices, as well as some of those customizable buttons and the ergonomic control features that it gives you, just being a little bit more comfortable in the hand. It's gonna be a better mouse for you to use for gaming and for longer sessions, doing productivity work on your computer, intensive video and photo editing, and other more graphics intensive tasks like that. If you have any other questions about the MX Master 3S and the Magic Trackpad, I would recommend watching my more specific reviews about each of these mouses where we go more into depth on the Magic Trackpad and the MX Master 3S. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any other questions you want me to answer. If you're interested in buying either of these, I have links to buy both in the description below. Give this video a like, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.